Okay, so I'm really perplexed about the Fine Fine uh, BM66T. This is the one that we're going to be talking about today. There is one that is just the BM66 that comes without the extension rod or tube or whatever you want to call it. Hence why I say uh, I think it, you know, it's called the BM66T because the extension tube. Um, that just means that you have a little bit more lift, I would say, off the desk to uh, pretty much get over a monitor or something like that. Uh, the first con is that I don't think this might be long enough um, to go over somebody's monitor with this part or whatever, since this part is gonna be leaning forward and it's going to need to uh, get over a monitor, which would probably sit like right here or something like that. Um, I don't think since it's gonna be leaning forward like that, I don't think this is going to be uh, high enough as far as the extension rod. So maybe if fine fine in the future sells this separately then maybe you can add another one or wherever on top of it to get it over because i do think this needs to be a little bit higher that's just my personal opinion although i have stacked monitors and a monitor on the side so it's better for me to use low profile boom arms and i just prefer that so that's what i use so your results may vary just keep that in mind when purchasing something like this there's your measurements i would say there's really no way for me to like digitally get it i would say but the manual shows you pretty much how to put it together and clamp it to your desk and wherever it's a traditional thing um unboxing it was i would say just fairly average or wherever very small package um as far as the actual package amazon put it in a huge box but it was a small package from fine fine it comes with all the little uh microphone you know adapters that you would need at the base or wherever so you're pretty much covered with that um it's all blacked out even the fine fine logo uh you probably can't see from this angle but the fine fine logo everything's all blacked out there's no um branding or anything like that that's going to stand out too much or wherever so you could use this you know in a professional setting i would say somewhat or wherever semi-professional maybe you're running your own podcast or something like that or maybe that's something that bothers you with a lot of stuff or wherever that we've seen like the likes of joby and ix tech respectively have put their branding on their microphone boom arms and it's kind of like boom in your face where this one is a little bit subdued since it's blacked out now imagine if they come out with the white or pink version it's probably going to look the same um another thing is is that the build quality is better than the ix tech one um this plastic housing i talked about it in the review i will go ahead and leave that in the description as well as the joby one um this plastic housing although it allows more um obviously cables and it's actually bigger to route your cables um this plastic housing is so plastic it's not even hard plastic it's like cheap plastic and it's just underneath a regular metal I would say um, microphone boom arm. So that reverberation, the hollowness, the clank of the plastic clanking against the metal, um, it's not going to be good for live streams. It's not gonna be good for recorded audio, video, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I didn't, I don't think I really recommended this one in the IX Tech video. I recommended the low profile boom arm, but then I did a low profile boom arm, I would say roundup comparison video. And um, they got exposed for a lot of things, wherever it so did Mayano. So I'll leave that review down in the description. So I would suggest, you know, staying away from the IX Tech stuff in my personal opinion. Um, and then you got the Joby one. The Joby one is a little bit more sturdier and everything, but this one costs $99 which is absolutely just mind blowing that they are charging that and they got away with it. Um, because again, blanket statement on the channel is no microphone boom arm should cost over 60 bucks. I don't care what version it is or wherever, use it for what it's supposed to do. And that's just to hold your microphone. So when, you know, companies like Joby where the plastic is like rattling or wherever against the metal, although be it, it's not as bad as the IX Tech one, but it's still there wherever, not so necessarily in the back, but in the front, the part that you're going to touch the microphone and stuff that all those vibrations on the ix tech and the joby is going to get sent into your microphone and especially if you're using something like a, a cardioid condenser microphone it's going to pick up a whole bunch of noise um so dynamic microphones are pr probably the way to go but still you're probably going to want a, a shock mount or something like that when using those microphone boom arms this one however it's a little bit, I would say, more subdued. The plastic feels a little bit closer to the metal components inside. So you're still going to get that dinging of the plastic or whatever if you tap it really hard or something like that. But it's not going to be, I would say, as present or noticeable compared to the Joby and the iX Tech microphone boom arms. 
So when you have something like this from Fine Fine that's supposed to be, you know, a uh, hundred dollars or wherever, it's like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like that, that I just don't understand it. And like I said, it's not for, um, you know, professional use, like in a radio station, like I said, music videos, movies, anything like that. It's just supposed to be for somebody like me who is doing content creation, who maybe is streaming, who, you know, probably needs a microphone in the shot or where get a microphone close. Why does it need to cost so much? It doesn't have a, you know, headset hanger or a actual, um, I would say coffee cup or a cup holder, wherever on the actual base attachment, like the Joby one at least did. But at the same time, the Joby one is full metal. It's really, you know, robust or wherever as far as the clamp that clamps to your desk. And the clamp on the fine, fine one is super long or wherever, or super big, the gap. So I would imagine thick desk or wherever won't be a problem. Um, but at the same time, it's like all it's doing is holding my microphone. And now we got the channels or wherever where you have to lift the plastic and remove it and then, you know, obviously put it back. I would say the channels are big enough for a traditional, I would say XLR cable might be able to run two cables through it depending on the, the slimness of the cables. But anything really thick or a thick XLR cable is just going to eat up all that uh, that's in there, wherever as far as that space goes. And that's something that, you know, I would say the IX Tech has over this one because of the the big channels or wherever but at the same time you're gonna get a lot of noise and clankiness and i just feel like it would get annoying after a while uh the joby one or wherever i would say roughly is about the same yeah i would say it's about the same um space between uh the the gaps or wherever between to fit a cable in or wherever so again i would say this is traditionally for just one cable running through i know some people do that with the fine fine products where they use the usb wherever to a power bank or a wall outlet to give the rgb of a microphone and then they use the xlr cord um you could do that if your xlr cord like i said is not too thick and the actual usb type c cable that you're using is pretty thin or the one that comes with the fine fine microphone so you could probably still pull that off but it's probably traditionally going to be a little bit snug. Again, you come with all the adapters that you need for, you know, your shock mounts or wherever for your microphones. We have the traditional ball head here, just like I've been talking about wherever that's reminiscent to Elgato's type of uh, me mechanism, wherever to tighten and hold your microphone. Nothing feels, I would say, overly cheap or wherever on it. It's still, like I said, a budget option or anything. I don't feel like it's going to fall apart. Um, like I said, the build quality is really good. It's just overall the price. I just, I don't know why it needs to cost so much. Um, and I understand when people say, you know, oh, a good product or wherever they don't mind paying for it. And this is a good product, just like the BM88 that I reviewed or wherever against the Elgato low profile boom arm. And the BM88, I still use it on my streaming desk over here. And it's a really good microphone boom arm and it's been holding up and everything. Um, this microphone boom arm holds the likes of the Tonar microphone where the BM88, I had to um, tighten it just a little bit or wherever, but it still hold it up. And that traditionally is a, I would say heavier microphone. And I tried it on this again, and I tried the, the Movo microphone that I have. And those microphones are the heaviest microphones of the two, uh, or of the microphones that I have. So I imagine the Shure SM7B, like some people try to tell me the BM88 couldn't hold up the Shure SM7B, even though I've seen pictures of that and it hold up the Tonar microphone. And I'm not sure how heavy the Shure SM7B is because I don't have it, but the Tonar microphone feels like it's heavy as all get out. And I don't understand, like it was able to hold it. So if it's able to hold it on this microphone boom arm, me moving it around and stuff like that, the weight of it, this how stiff this microphone boom arm is, um, I don't see anybody really having a problem as far as it holding the microphone. I will say that there's no adjustment in the elbow of it, like the IX Tech and the Joby have right here. Um, the only adjustments that you have is attaching it to the, the clamp or the desk clamp or the extension rod, depending on which one version you get. Um, and you have the Allen key that comes in the box where to do that. And I would say you're going to want to tighten it. It comes, they are fairly loose or wherever when you get them. So you are going to have to tighten them. Um, but once you do that, this thing is, it's stiff. It ain't, it ain't going anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm just, like I said, it's a good microphone boom arm. There's nothing much else I can say about it. When it rains, it pours literally. Um, we had multiple storms yesterday come through my neck of the woods. Um, 
fortunately enough we are blessed to just have the crazy winds i've seen the trees bending and trees falling and absolute just massive flooding where i'm at but my wife's safe i'm safe my, my son is safe um just be weather aware take precautions i talked about it in my um I would say important channel update. So go watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, pretty much the same thing happened. We had catastrophic tornadoes um, miss us by like an hour to 40 minutes away from us um, consistently last night. Um, and we had to sit in our tub or wherever. We didn't lose power, but people have lost power um, in my neighborhood or wherever or my city for over 24 hours now. We lost power this morning for two hours. Um, so when I was trying to record this, my wife came in and she was like, yo, we got to go grab everything there's a morning storm that nobody's talking about it's going to be bad and that's where a lot of the flood initially started because it was just rain after rain pretty much all day just crazy amounts of rain and then like i said 60 to uh, mile per hour winds in the morning and then 70 mile per hour winds plus or wherever at night it was just be cautious just be careful if you live in tornado alley my heart goes out to a lot of people who have had uh, fatalities and a lot of damage a lot of people lost their home power all that stuff so just keep your prayer keep people in your prayers um and just be weather aware and just take precautions have a buck out bad medical supplies all that stuff or wherever um especially going into hurricane season because apparently it's just about to be it's just as bad bro and i'm just i don't know what's going on with the earth but just be careful you know what i'm saying just just be careful and thank you to fine fine for being uh really understanding when i reached out to him and explained it to him my overall thoughts of the bm66 and the 66t the extension rod like i said before the extension tube i don't know if it's going to be tall enough for people who don't have i would say um a lot of depth to their desk and they're gonna have to bring their monitors closer to them and stuff because the backside of the microphone boom arm is going to have to lean forward obviously and if you don't have that depth to bring your monitor a little bit closer and then let the microphone lean because it's just not tall enough. So I would like maybe a half of another extension rod added as far as in length. I've put in uh, on the screen or wherever in the beginning of the video how much extra you know height you get with the extension tube. But I'll put it again here. Um, I just think it would be... Uh, a little bit more beneficial if it was a little bit higher in my personal opinion i'm not sure because i don't eat traditionally use these type of microphone boom arms nor would i put it behind my monitor anyways i would just use a low profile boom arm but i asked for this version because i wanted to see and test it out you know and get the the full uh, I would say resources of the product or wherever I could to give you guys a review. I think this one would look really, really good in a all black setup or an all white setup if, you know, they come out the white version or maybe an all pink setup. And like I said multiple times before, Fine Fine might do it, but if they come out with a purple one, that would be really dope. Um, and just keeping the Fine Fine just etched in or wherever on the side of it, um, it's going to look really good. And I think, like I said, that it would look really good in this and you know like it's just on this version where we're really cool in a all black setup um because like i've said before other companies they always add a little um different pop of color or something like that accent piece to whether it be their logo or like the trim or something like that and now uh, this is stealth all black like blacked out i think it looks really really good and the components and stuff like that nothing screams to me like it's cheap or they skipped you know out on something or whatever again your results may vary you know just depending on you know your use case scenario and everything but my overall thoughts i do recommend the product the only other thing that like i said kind of bothers me and it's just it, it's like a nagging feeling i don't know why the base model without the extension tube or whatever is costing 99 dollars and then marked down to 67 and then this one costing 72 or wherever i forget the prices because a lot of stuff had happened but hopefully i'm remembering correctly because all it's doing is what it's doing now which is a great job of just holding the microphone and this microphone is super light and it's not even raising up or anything like that and it's not raising down it's just really good microphone boom arm again it's just holding your microphone let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if i'm just a little bit out of touch or maybe i just don't understand why companies should charge you know 99 dollars for a microphone boom arm that's just my personal thoughts and opinions but overall really good product fine fine um just the price is a little in but it's still it's still you know doable it's still recommendable thank you again fine fine for sending it out uh another great product that's well built see you guys it's not that hard make good products i'll catch you guys in the next one y'all take care have a squid day god bless you and yours 
let me know in the comments below everything i talked about today what your thoughts are and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing if you want to see the live streams links in the description and uh watch the product review playlist at the end and um stay safe please 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 stay safe check out the weather channel down in the description be weather aware and uh yeah love you guys god bless you and yours deuces